Solo YouTube, JW Solo USA. Today's video is about the grid tide inverter with a limiter, the second generation. So um, using it with a battery backup system. So um, my video I posted um, a couple days ago and uh, one of uh, my subscribers were asking me if I can able to do a video regarding um, how this uh, inverter works with battery system. The first one doesn't have the capability to do that. But uh, since the software is already upgraded and it has been um, uh, Enable so that we can able to use utilize uh, battery backup system. This is what I want to explain today to you guys exactly and see how it is. So right here I have uh, four 12 volt batteries wired in 12 volt batteries, 22 amp hour each, wired in 48 volt. As you guys know, this inverter start at 22 volt to uh, 60 volt. So I'm just going to use these batteries as uh, it's going to just represent as a solar panels. But we trying to uh, I'm I'm trying to use the DC part of it, that battery backup system. This is what all about the video is because um, this gentleman want to know. Other subscribers want to see how this thing works. So bring you back here and we have to change some settings here from uh, solar mode to battery configuration. So let me bring you back and just set up some quick uh, settings here to make sure that this um, device is set properly. Stay tuned. All right, we can go back here. And got this button and make sure we go back to this the settings and enter you guys can see exactly what it is so we have to go back to down at this time I have to set the um, the backlight on because I want it to be on and uh, come back here and set up enter It's gonna open up Something there. So this is where you want the batteries to cut off at a certain um, at a certain voltage. So we're gonna drop this one from two. You see, from two twenty down. All right, folks, this will be a quick experiment for you guys using the grid tide inverter with a limiter. And um, like I was saying, I got some questions from uh, some of my viewers. If you see the batteries are already, already attached to uh, the system. And here are the uh, connections. So positive to the positive, negative to the negative. Connected to just a little thing here that's tied to... The going to the outlet. Uh, this is a 48 volt configurations of configuration. This is a two, uh, sorry, four uh, 12 volt battery wired in series to give us a 48 volt battery uh, bank and um, 20 amp, 22 amps each on one battery. So um, it's gonna give us a 48 volt at 22 amp hours. That's why you see the wires are a little smaller. There, it's running a 48 volt. That's that's good, and I have a two or uh, four gauge wire here for the terminals for the draw. And let's get back here so we can set up this thing, and you guys can see exactly what um, this thing can produce on a battery backup system when you use it on the batteries instead of uh, solar. So you guys can take a look. I'm gonna fire up the device. And see how things go from there. You see the power we generated. There she goes. Power is up. Gives us uh, 50 volt at uh, 119 volt AC. There we go. 
234 watt going back to the grid. It's powering all the device. And let's see if how this is going to be a spike right here. Okay. We're sending power back to the grid, folks. So this is how you wire your batteries to your grid tide system, grid tide machine, which is a grid tide with a limiter. So we're pushing power back to the grid, folks. And I hope this one makes sense. I hope this one complete the um, the one who experiment how you can wire your batteries. Okay, how you can wire your batteries to uh, do uh, produce power for you as solar, even at night, to power your loads. All right. So we see that 48 point, 47.9. At 120 volts, we're pushing power back to the grid, uh, to the device as they're working right now. Thanks for watching from the command center, JW Solar USA. I hope this one makes complete sense. The grid tight inverter is working and the batteries are still holding up, doing pretty good. I just want to walk you through and see back all the configuration and uh, see how the power. So I can have on and off over there. So everything is running, no fans kicking right now the limiter is not there it's just a quick uh look for you guys and i hope this one answered the question for my subscriber and other people are curious just to show you the batteries can work with this limiter no problem at all so and uh there's the batteries those are just uh, like a ups batteries you guys have seen them on my videos on demonstration on portable systems and look how efficient it is running on 40 48 volt okay all right take care folks and have a nice day please subscribe like and share from the command center jw sulo usa from minnesota bye for now